So I'm with Chris, our head ranger, and we are in the meerkat enclosure. So Chris, I've got to say, meerkats are one of the most popular animals here at the wildlife park. I absolutely love them. Yeah. So how many meerkats have we got here? We have uh, 14 in our mob. Uh, there's uh, three females and all the rest are boys. The meerkat here has become quite a star and that's Steve McQueen. Steve McQueen, absolutely. And Steve McQueen is well known for getting out. And that shows you just how intelligent these creatures are. They really are, they really are. And they work together as a team. I mean, he's a bit of a loner, but they do work together as a team, yeah. definitely. And that teamwork and that you know, super intelligence, that really helps them survive in their difficult, harsh conditions. That's right, they do come from one of the harshest uh, sort of environments in the planet really. They live out in the, uh, the very dry, arid deserts of the southern African countries, so like the Kalahari Desert, the Namibian Desert, places like that. So we'll usually have one meerkat stood on one of these high branches and tree stumps, looking up at the sky, looking out for any danger, be it eagles or hawks or even helicopters. And then uh, when they do see something, they'll make this barking noise and they'll all kind of dash towards the house and uh, rush for cover. And th they've got a really nice adaptation to help them look up to the skies in that uh, that respect as well because uh, the dark circles that you see around their eyes absorb some of the glare from the sun so they act like a nice little pair of Ray-Bans ah, I love it what are the meerkats looking for what's on their menu well their absolute favorite food would be scorpions Right. And they bite the stinger off and then just uh, and spit that out and then they'll uh, crunch on all the rest of the goodness. But, you know, scorpions are thin on the ground in rural Suffolk. So, uh, <laughs> so we feed them on a, a wide variety of foods. In the morning, they'll get uh, uh, some fruits and veggies. Yeah. Uh, and then at lunchtime, they have a live feed, which will be either crickets or mealworms, locusts maybe, and also a specially formulated meerkat pellet. Right. And then uh, for dinner, they have uh, another variety again, whether it be more veggies, more live food, or occasionally an egg, a mouse, or maybe even a chick. Lovely. Yeah. Sounds delicious. Yeah. <laughs> now, often what visitors ask about when they look into the enclosure, because they often see twisted uh, toilet rolls, yeah. Um, uh, or they'll see some red plastic balls. T tell us a bit about that. So we do what's called environmental enrichment. Uh, quite often this takes the form of making their food a little bit harder to get to. I so you. whether that be a bamboo tube with holes in it or something as simple as a scrunched up toilet roll. Now, big question. Has Steve McQueen got out since? <laughs> Steve McQueen has been contained within this enclosure for now. But we are looking to... Uh, build them a brand new enclosure. Um, hopefully, maybe even introduce another species with them as well, another great African desert species, and, uh, and it gives something else for Steve to do, some more characters for him to play with. There we are. Fantastic, lovely. I absolutely love the meerkats. I love watching them forage away, working as a team. They're brilliant. There we go, all the meerkat facts you need. Cheers, Chris. Cheers.